بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اینڈ السلام علیکم پاکستان ویلکم بیک ٹو کارپوریٹ گورننس وی بین لکنگ اراؤنڈ ایٹ لاٹ آف کیس اسٹڈیز اینڈ ناؤ وی گوئنگ بیک ٹو سم تھیوری سیشنس ٹوڈے وی گوئنگ ٹو بی ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ انٹینس کمپٹیشن اینڈ اگریسو بزنس اسٹریٹجی لیڈیز اینڈ جنمن ناؤ ڈیز ان دا ایج آف دا ٹوینٹی فسٹ سینچری وی سی دا وی آر ناٹ نو مور لیونگ ان اے گلوبلائزڈ ورلڈ وی آر لیونگ ان اے پامائزڈ ورلڈ کمپلیٹ بزنسز کین بی ڈن تھرو دا موبائل فون uh internet connectivity uh telephonic uh connections and also uh video conferencing and so many other softwares have made business so simple uh and also very convenient uh, not only can transactions be done uh through the internet or through the mobile phone uh, actually complete businesses can be run can be monitored can be regulated through uh the mobile phone and again uh, one can always Uh, visually verify what is right or wrong and how things are going on in a particular business. Uh, we also see that, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that in the 21st century, uh, due to uh, these new uh, dynamics in business, uh, there is intense competition. And this intense competition basically means that there is a great need to optimize uh, the effectiveness and efficiency of any organization and all of its products and services. Uh, we see that uh, due to this intense competition, people are usually working on very small margins and uh, sometimes uh, are even working uh, on uh, the uh, midway uh, whereby they are selling the product or service uh, just at cost. And all of this uh, is a new paradigm of competition. Uh, we, we can see that in the UK and the US, uh, it is understood that the threat of takeover of company is a critical factor in managerial behavior. So again, uh, in all of this co intense competition, uh, we see that uh, in various countries, there is also hostile takeovers uh, which are taking place. And that again is a trend in managerial behavior. Uh, in the countries like Germany, France and Japan, it is understood that the financial institutions in the banks act uh, as monitors for the corporate governance. Uh, while in other countries of the Western world, Uh, the financial institutions act as financial monitors and competition among the corporations can be uh, at the most efficient mechanism for ensuring corporate governance. So uh, again, uh, just like I was mentioning that uh, what is being adjudged and what is being monitored is the effectiveness and efficiency of any corporation. And because the dynamics has changed, the competition has become extremely intense. A uh, stiff competition in the product market ensures that the management does not avoid its responsibilities even if its internal monitoring is weak. Competition ensures that the management lethargy is less and less. So this competition has been very, uh, very productive also. Uh, we see that through this competition, uh, the laid back approach sometimes in business has to be shed away and one has to be proactive and engaging and always uh, trying to optimize and uh, make sure that the business is done in the most efficient way. And that stiff competition uh, has uh, led to all of these different factors emerging within the different corporations. Uh, it can definitely be claimed that competition provides a benchmark for measuring the performance of a company from inside. So again, uh, we see that uh, in a competition, we are looking at our own internal systems, but we are also looking at our competition and minutely and, and meticulously monitoring uh, that and seeing how the performance is emerging uh, from within the organization. Competition induces the managers to put greater efforts for the purpose of cost reduction so as to avoid any possibility of being bankrupt. So again, uh, uh, the best way of doing business is to ensure uh, that your costs are the best, uh, you have worked out different uh, cost strategies and also different procurement strategies, whereby what we see is, is that uh, the uh, cost of production Uh, or uh, the total overall cost uh, is minimized and that would ensure that the company stays afloat uh, even in times uh, of uh, transgression and of aggression. Uh, we also see that when we have a intense competition, then aggressive business strategies are very important. The range of aggressiveness strategies is classified into four categories such as uh, prospector, uh, defender, analyzer and reactor. A prospector enters new areas of business without much thought. So again, we see uh, that 
because of this time competition, uh, because of uh, opportunities having uh, small windows of engagement. Therefore, uh, if we have a prospector, we see that that person immediately enters into market and doesn't do too much of thinking or analysis or tries to see what are the pros and cons. The intention of such companies is to become market leader or improve the market share. So that's why they just jump in and ensure that they emerge as the market leader. This process often leads to some setbacks leading to corporate failure. Well, it can be risky and sometimes it can also lead to the closure of a particular company. A defender strategy entails finding and maintaining a secure and relatively stable market. The analyzer is in between the defender and the prospector. So again, these different aggressive business strategies uh, are applied from situation to situation and circumstance to circumstance and based upon the own uh, internal uh, vision of a particular organization, uh, the organization will be uh, adopting a particular uh, process and procedure. Uh, we also see they take less risk and make fewer mistakes than a prospector, but are less committed to stability than the defenders. Uh, a reactor has no proactive strategy, often reacting to events as they occur. They respond only when they are forced by microenvironmental pressure. So again, uh, we see that the reactor model uh, would be in reaction. It would be more uh, of managing crises, of firefighting, rather than proactive engagement. And the dependency is on the macroenvironmental uh, pressure. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, what we see is that uh, right now, where are we moving uh, in 2022? Uh, we see that the competition has become uh, very intense uh, and very competitive. While uh, to ensure that competitiveness, organizations have to have aggressive business strategies. So, uh, this is the new uh, paradigm now. In all of this, what we see is, is that there can be possibility of shortcuts and there can be possibility of mistakes. And that is why corporate governance uh, comes in and clicks in to ensure that during these aggressive business strategies and intense competition, uh, the uh, postulates and the stipulations and the rules and regulations uh, as given uh, in the corporate governance framework uh, on a national or global level is being met by all of the organizations. Thank you so much.